In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate how you can quickly access the One CNC text editor. Now, typically, to access the text editor, you would have to be inside of One CNC just like we are here. Head up to the top of the screen, select NC, and then DNC editor. Now that's great, but I want to show you a faster way. So I'm going to close the editor down. In fact, I'm going to close One CNC down as well. Let's shut that down. We'll click no on that. I'm going to open up the Windows Explorer. So let's open up Windows Explorer. And what we want to do is we want to go to our C drive and then locate our one CNC folder. Now in this example, I'm going to be using the one CNC XR8 folder. So I'm just going to double click on that. Over here on the right, depending on whether you have mill, lathe, wire, or any of the profiler softwares, you may have a different folder here. In this example, I have mill expert, but the point being is you want to double click on the folder to open it up and then locate your DNC folder. Again, we're going to double click on that. That looks good. And then you're going to notice there's a file here called 1dnc.exe. This is the file that launches the text editor. Now what's nice is you can make a shortcut of this and place it on your desktop. I'm going to hold the right hand mouse button down. I'm going to drag this over to the right and then let go. And then you're going to want to select the option called create shortcut here. That looks great. I'm going to go ahead and close the Windows Explorer down. And now you can really rename this anything that you'd like. I'm going to right hand mouse click. I'm going to select rename and I'm just going to call this text editor. That looks good. All right, so now if you ever want to launch your one CNC text editor, all you have to do is just double click on your shortcut. So I'm going to double click on that and there we go. There's the one CNC text editor. At this point, if you wanted to, you could load in a CNC program. For example, I'll go to the desktop and let's open up our little drill program here. You could make edits to this or you could use the RS-232 to upload and download CNC programs to and from your CNCs. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.